Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay. Come on. Let's take a moment to imagine you are now scuba diving in the deep blue ocean. Colorful corals, Nemo, and other friendly marine creatures are swimming gracefully around you. Weightlessness makes you feel like you're in outer space. Floating free with nothing holding you down as you explore the unknown. Diving is the one and only sport that provides this unique thrill. There is nothing else like it. It is simply awesome. Of course, you can't wait to share your adventures with friends, family, and other dive buddies through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media. Then you realize sharing your diving experience using conventional methods is almost not possible, especially when you go on more and more expeditions. Here's what most divers do to share their experiences. The current diver will recollect bits and pieces of the dive location, water depth, and water temperature by checking notes, gauges, and with dive bikes. Serious divers will fill out dive logs with pen and paper, often dripping seawater onto the soon-to-be illegible and forgotten handwriting. Then they will go through an overwhelming amount of unorganized galleries and attempt to match every photo and video with specific dives. Finally, they will make a post on the dive three months later. What if you don't need to worry about taking notes, writing dive logs, sorting through galleries, and only have to focus entirely on your dive? We present to you Triton. Triton is the hardware component of a system. It has all of the functions of a conventional diving computer and seamless connectivity on top of that. It provides all the information you need in real time, such as depth, water temperature, dive time, and non-decompression time limit to let you dive safely. With the mobile app and cloud service, it essentially creates a private collection of your dives digitally. Pictures and video you take on every dive is integrated into your dive log automatically. Every dive log becomes an enriched timeline, pinpointing the time, location, and even depth at which every photo is taken. Triton's digital diving log is very attractive with its sleek and intuitive interface, bringing your dives to life in a way previously unimaginable. Triton's own social network platform allows you to interact with other divers through sharing anything from photos, timelines, and dive sites to the very resort they stay at. The app also helps in arranging your next dive getaway. You can directly contact dive shops based on the recommendation of fellow Triton divers. That means no more renting gear from a dodgy dive shop. Triton connects you to a community of like-minded people in only a few easy clicks. Hope you enjoy our presentation of the brand new Triton Diving Computer, presented by Deep Blue, a startup company founded by a passionate group of professional divers and experts on product design and development. Come join our exciting underwater world. Please help and protect our oceans by saying no to shark fin soup. <笑>太好了太好了 那在這個過程當中我們到底學到什麼東西,那也順便跟大家分享這怎麼過程這樣。你沒有無法自拔這樣那也因此過去的科技十幾年都在台灣的科技有半導體這樣子那在零八年開始接觸潛水之後然後也慢慢的發現到對潛水其實這件事情就有很多事情可以去改善那同樣的也透過去做這件
，就是做那个 stuff。那另外也分享一个所谓的创业的动机。那我这边也是觉得说，创业动机是一个很主要、最重要的事情，就是你本身你一定要非常热爱你正在做的事情。因为坦白，你在做这件事情，你没有去。啊，去非常的啊，热爱它。你一旦投入到，这是未来五年、十年甚至更长久的时间，你怎么可能有办？你不爱一件事情，你不爱一个东西，怎么可能有办法持续这么久的时间？好，第二个，我们是如何做到这件事情？其实刚才提到啊，因为本身我过去的背景、background， 还有所谓的我们在这些的专业上，因为本身也我本身也是一个专业的潜水教练，所以结合这样的专长，然后。也是希望说能够把我过去的经验跟经历，还有我的专长本身去结合起来。而且台湾其实对硬体，在座有应该我刚刚看到蛮多手手机的面孔，啊，很多都是做硬体的 staff。其实台湾我们各位都很很清楚知道，台湾做硬体的 staff 是非常非常适合。只是问题在说，台湾的这硬体的这些面的比较零散，可能需要一些经验，你要懂得去找到正确的圈哦，去把这些。啊，这些技术去做一个连接，做一个整合，那不像就是，不过慢慢在一三一四年之后，慢慢也蛮多那种就是中间，就是他们可以去帮你协作做 communication 的这些这样的服务，所以在台湾做一点 star， 我个人觉得非常非常适合。那这边也提到说，啊，要如何做到这件事情，也就是各位在创业的过程中，我会一个小小心得就是。各位的这些你们本身的专业跟专长，除了刚的热情跟一头一头热之外，非常热爱之外，各位的专长跟所谓的专业的，在跟这方面的 match 的程度其实也要够。有热情是一回事，可是你有没有那个能力去做到这件事情，这是非常非常重要的。OK， 那其实第三个我想跟大家分享就是说，那在这个过程中我们学到什么事情？这个我想知道张贝贝在上个月的新闻有跟大家提到这个东西。OK， 我个人觉得说，其实创业其实很简单，简单在哪里？你说真的，你只要去那个中华小巷买一台那个摊车，弄个葱油饼，那也叫创业，对不对？找个拉面来帮你雇店，对不对？年收搞不破百万，这是真的。那但是创业其实也很困难。我个人觉得我学到的东西什么？创业困难，困难在哪里？第一个。当你要做决心，要下定决心，我要离开现在这个舒适圈，我要离开我现在有这么好的工作，年收两百多万的这样的工作，我举例啊，这样的工作，然后决心投入创业，这是第一个非常困难的决定。离开舒适圈对人对对不是人类啊，对任何动物来讲，离开舒适圈本来就是一件不寻常的一个动作。其实创业第一个困难是什么？第二个困难我觉得在于说，在你走这条路，在你做这件事情。你要不断的告诉自己，不要去回头看你刚你之前所带的那个窝，你不要去回头看，因为其实这个很困难。我坦白说，我在呃刚、欸、开始前一年，其实几乎每个礼拜都会大概五六通所谓的黑行的猎人头打电话来，每一通的电话那个 offer 都是那种那种就是很肥的那种 offer。可那在这样情况下，当你看着存款数字不断的减少情况底下，你说真的。你要不断的繁星，非常的非常的难这样子，好、哦，所以说不回头看，这是第一个我觉得最困难的事情。那第三个，我觉得最困难的事情就是，你一定有一天会修了要就烧光。从以前年年收几百万到负债几百万，这个过程当中，你有没有办法坚持住跟 hold 住？这个是最困难的事情。也因此。刚提到你的热情，这个就会变得非常重要，因为这个东西是你能不能去打动周遭的人的一个关键，这样。所以我在这边大概跟各位分享一下我这个简单小心得，因为在座真的很多非常多前辈，希望我不要胡乱靠得太超过，然后不要丢我鞋子。OK， 大家就这样，谢谢各位。好，谢谢有阴阳眼的 Brad。